Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to share some tips and advice on how to maximize your study time while you're in your dedicated time for step one. These are the tips and advice that I use during my step one prep and I figured these out through trial and error, figuring out what works for me and what doesn't. I have been receiving many emails and messages on Instagram from students asking me how they should go ahead and schedule their day for step one prep and how I recommend to study for step one. I do also want to add that everyone studies in their own way, so it's just a matter of putting in the time and figuring out what works for you. Um, again, these are just my suggestions. I would recommend if you haven't started your dedicated time yet that try these out and see if you like them. So if this video sounds interesting to you and you'd like to learn more, please keep watching. Also, please don't forget to like the video if you liked it, as well as subscribe for more content like this. Now let's get into it. Now the first thing I want to say is that your main resource should be UWorld. And the UWorld QBank is not a diagnostic or assessment tool. The UWorld QBank is a learning tool. So when you use it as a learning tool, you'll get the most out of it. And I have a full video on how I reviewed and learned from UWorld. So you can, um, I'll have it over here where you can check it out. And I'll also have it in the description box below. So in this video, I won't go into detail about how I reviewed and learned from UWorld. The main point I'm trying to make here is that UWorld should be your main resource during step one prep. And when you first start on UWorld, your scores won't be as high as you want them to be. But this is normal. You're supposed to see an increase as you keep learning from UWorld. So over time, you do want to see an increase in your scores, but initially, don't feel discouraged if you keep getting a low score. It will go up as you keep learning. The other thing is that many students believe if you read first aid multiple times, and you just keep reading first aid that that will help you increase your score. This might work for some people, but I can tell you from my own personal experience, when I tried reading first aid as much as I could and I didn't do as many questions, I actually saw my score go down. So I automatically knew from that that reading from first aid and trying to read as much as I can from first aid was not going to help me in the long run. So instead, I, I shortened the time I read first aid to an hour to an hour and a half. And that's all the time I spent reading from first aid. And if you're curious about my in-depth schedule for step one studying, I'll also have that video down below in the description box. So the main thing I'm trying to say here is that you don't want to spend all your time reading first aid if you already know that it's not working for you. If you're seeing a dip in your scores, you know that that method's not working for you. So the reason I'm bringing this up here in this video is because how you study for your medical school exams and how you study for step one prep is totally different. At least it was for my, um, at least it was in my personal experience. So for example, for me, when I would study for my medical school exams, I would take the time and read the lecture notes, understand the material with textbooks if needed to be, and I would then go ahead and review my notes that I took and also, um, and also review the notes that I took and I would rarely ever do questions. And I didn't learn till later towards the end of my basic sciences before I started my dedicated period that learning from questions is actually way more beneficial rather than learning from lecture notes and any notes that you may have written. So when my dedicated time came around, I knew right away that the main way I wanted to study for step one was through UWorld. I was going to do as many blocks as I could in the morning, afternoon time, and then evening time, I would take the time and do my cycling method, which I also have a video on. I'll have it in the description box below. And then from there, I would only spend an hour to an hour and a half reviewing from first date. I never spent majority of my day reading first aid. And that's because I found through trial and error to maximize my time while I was studying for step one, that the best way for me to do that was to learn from UWorld. I know many students get nervous and scared because they wanna be 
prepared for anything step one may ask them but i'm telling you learning from you world is the best way to go and you want that to be a huge chunk of your study day so my study day always was comprised of you world blocks and reviewing them for the um from 8 to 12 and then i would go ahead and do the cycling method for the other half of the day and the evening time i would just take my time to review first aid for a little bit but that was always after doing the questions in you world that's the other thing i want to point out always make questions your question blocks the first thing you do on a study day because one thing you want to get your body used to doing questions that early for example, my exam was at 8 a.m. So I always um, did my questions early so I could get my body used to answering these questions that early. And secondly, you'll get majority of your studying done in the morning. You know, as the day goes on, you do get tired and you don't retain as much information. So you want to get a bulk of your studying done, especially the heavy part, which for me was learning from UWorld in the morning. The main thing I'm trying to say here is that you don't want to use majority of your study day reading and writing from first aid or writing out notes. You want to spend majority of your day doing questions. The more questions you do, the better. That's exactly how step one is. Like it's all questions, multiple choice questions. So you want to spend majority of your day doing that and you will will teach you how step one will present these questions. It'll teach you how to answer these step one questions. So it's honestly the best way to go for step one prep. Also, I want to add an announcement here that since I have had a lot of people reach out to me through email or Instagram, I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and start coaching students who need coaching or want it, as well as tutoring. So if you are interested in getting coached or having tutoring sessions with me, message me on Instagram. My Instagram handle will be over here. So um, just let me know through there that, hey, I'm interested in coaching or tutoring and I'll get back to you. I've already started coaching and tutoring some students. So through my experience with them, I've decided to go ahead and expand this a little bit more. But I do want to say that I'm only taking a limited number of students. So if you're very serious about this and you want to get the most out of your step one, but you're just not sure how you should schedule or just need help understanding some topics, message me on my Instagram if you're interested. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and interesting. Remember, everyone learns in a different way and how we studied for our medical school finals versus step one is going to be different. So you want to find what works for you. And I hope this video helped you in figuring that out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.